Hello? Girl, you not gonna believe this. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video I will be showing you how I cooked this Sunday's dinner which consisted of some other chicken baked beans, some green beans and macaroni and cheese as well as some dinner rolls. Now I'm going to be honest with the sides those are leftovers from a restaurant and the sides from the restaurant were pretty good however they needed to be doctored up and this was a lazy sunday for me so i actually repurposed <laughs> the sides okay so as you guys can see i went in with my paprika went in with my pepper ginger a little bit of seasoning sauce some lemon pepper i did some italian seasoning some cajun seasoning and a little bit of my secret seasoning that's what the white is i used a uh, one teaspoon of butter because this is going in the oven and i simply just massaged everything in make sure each piece of chicken was evenly coated and then i cut up some onion put it in you know throughout the pan along with this because like i said the only thing i cooked this sunday really was the chicken everything else i just doctored up once i got start dicing my onion and you peel all the scalies and stuff back so once i diced that little baby i threw it in there <clears throat> mixed everything up this was actually really really good it took me about 25 minutes to do all of this so i cut it up dice 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 and then i threw it in the pan with the seasoned chicken uh with a little bit of chicken broth and i put my oven on 350 make sure everything was evenly coated and then put it in the oven while i got my sides ready Cinnamon is a secret ingredient to my food. A pinch of it actually gives you your chicken that flavor. It's the weirdest thing. I found this little, you know, hack on TikTok and it's so delicious. This is me adding a little bit of butter to the top and some chicken broth. And now I'm going to throw it in the oven while I work on my sides. Beans. The green beans, of course, coming from a restaurant were probably already pre-made. So all I did was add a little bit of butter salt and pepper i then threw some butter in a saucepan because i'm also going to doctor up their spicy baked beans these are pretty good they came from a restaurant here in missouri called king edwards i then threw a little bit of bandanas barbecue on them because they are baked beans as well as some brown sugar mixed them all together added a pinch of butter literally a pinch and then got back to stirring my green beans just to ensure that everything was cooking at the right speed once my beans start boiling, I simply reduce the um, heat on those and pretty much top those off because they were ready to go. Same with the green beans. When you're correcting someone else's recipe, it doesn't take long. These are actually pretty bland. So salt, pepper, garlic powder, uh, onion powder, and a little bit of um, butter took this and just made it magnifico. I'll be honest, the macaroni and cheese was my greatest challenge yet because since I decided to order my groceries offline, I did not realize that they brought me 1% milk and not 2%, but we got to make it do what it do. I put a little bit of milk in a saucepan along with that um, restaurant macaroni and cheese. It was not good. Honestly, the noodles were too tender already, so I knew this was, you know, not going to turn out excellent i just wanted to eat on it a little bit before i felt like i threw my money away so in my pan i simply put the milk the leftover mac and cheese three slices of american cheese and i brought that to a boil over the stove i did eventually season this with salt pepper and a little bit of butter but i just let this sit on the stove and cook while i worked on my butter sauce for my dinner rolls so i'm putting half a stick of butter some cinnamon as well as some brown sugar in a sauce pan bringing on high heat i'm gonna go ahead and uh, let that cook until it comes to a little bit of a boil um but i'm gonna let that entire stick of butter melt because i do have some dinner rolls that i want to put this on if you ever have just plain dinner rolls and you're trying to think of a way to doctor it up or you want like something sweet along with your meal this is kind of like the perfect little secret 
sauce and low key it kind of tastes like a cinnamon roll which was actually really good so here you just see me stirring 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 and i'm getting ready to um go ahead and pour it over the biscuits i'm sorry the dinner rolls now mind you i poured this over them before they went into the oven if you do it afterwards it doesn't taste as good so this was before i put them in the oven i'm just showing you me putting all the sauce on there and then i tossed them in the oven for about seven minutes and they turned out so delicious like you can honestly eat this as a dessert how good this was and surprisingly this is how it turned out this was this week's sunday dinner it was something quick and easy as always thank you so much for tuning in and i will catch y'all in the next one bye